Hello students. In this video, I'm going to discuss solution of a question which is related to quantum mechanics. And this question was actually posted uh, in Telegram channel of Optimist classes. Many students asked for its solution. So that's why I'm going to provide here a solution of that question. <clears throat> so question is, is this, this is the question, okay? It says, <clears throat> velocity distribution function of atoms in a beam has the form f, f of x, actually it should be f of u, where is equal to u cube e to the power minus u square, where u is the ratio of atom velocity and most probable velocity. <clears throat> the most probable uh, de Broglie wavelength of the particle is, okay? See, this question is uh, somewhat similar to uh, a question which is asked in uh, kinetic theory of gases, where we know uh, most probable uh, velocity and a question is asked, what is the most probable energy, okay? So uh, in that case, what we actually do is, see here the uh, distribution function is f of u is equal to u cube or uh, e to the power minus u square. So what we do is uh, we actually convert this distribution function um, uh, in, or we express this distribution function in terms of the de Broglie wavelength uh, to calculate the most pro probable de, Bro de Broglie wavelength, okay? और अगर हमें मोस्ट प्रोबेबल एनर्जी निकालना है तो हम लोग इसको एक्सप्रेस कर देंगे इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी ओके सो हियर वी राइट लाइक दिस एफ ऑफ यू डी यू शुड बी इक्वल टू सम एफ ऑफ लेमडा एंड डी लेमडा सो देयरफॉर वी गेट हियर एफ ऑफ यू सॉरी एफ ऑफ लेमडा वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो एफ ऑफ लेमडा इज इक्वल टू दिस इज एफ ऑफ यू एंड डी यू बाय डी लेमडा ओके that's what we have okay so now uh, this f of u is u, u cube we'll put this later on okay so this is f of u and du by d lambda so we can write this as b d lambda and u is actually speed divided by most probable speed okay let's write it like this okay now speed can be written as um, so let us write it like this f of u and d d lambda and uh, v can be written as momentum by mass okay so momentum by mvp and now this is equal to f of u and d d lambda and we are going to write this p in terms of the broglie wavelength so we'll write uh, this as h by lambda okay so this is mvp and this becomes lambda so now if you differentiate this you get here uh, f of u and uh, when you differentiate this basically h by mvp this is constant okay and from here you get minus 1 by lambda square okay that's what you get minus 1 by lambda square so now we can express so this is what we are getting f of uh, f of lambda to be equal to okay generally we take a modulus here so we uh, we uh, because this, this distribution function is generally written as positive function, okay? So we take modulus here, okay? We, we, we write modulus here, this here, this modulus. So we ignore this negative sign. So now if f of u, if you put it, this is u cube, e to the power minus u square, and this is h divided by mvp, okay? And uh, one by lambda square, that's what we have. Now again, uh, let us express all these things in terms of lambda. So this becomes v by vp, whole cube, and e to the power minus uh, v by vp whole square. And this is one by lambda square. And this is h divided by mvp. Okay. So let us finally write again. Uh, we will write v is equal to p by m and p will be written as h by lambda. So this will become h uh, by lambda. Okay. So let us write this everywhere. Okay. So we get f of lambda is equal to uh, here we get h or divided by m lambda and vp whole cube and e to the power minus h divided by m lambda and vp whole square and here we have uh, h divided by m vp and lambda square so uh, other uh, see uh, apart from this lambda fact uh, lambda uh, we are we are, we are writing this uh, uh, function as uh, this 
distribution function in terms of lambda. So apart from uh, lambda, other terms uh, will be treated as constant. So we can just write it uh, like this. <coughs> See, uh, some constant, suppose a, so this f lambda is some constant a and uh, one by, here we have lambda cube, sorry, lambda power five actually, there is uh, lambda square here and lambda cube and e to the power minus, okay, uh, there is um, h square or divided by m square and vp square and lambda square, that's what we have. So now we want most probable uh, velocity, uh, sorry, most probable wavelength. So most probable wavelength is that for which this distribution function will be maximum. So let us uh, apply the condition of extremum. Okay, so we'll write like this, du by d lambda should be equal to zero at some uh, most probable wavelength. Okay, at lambda is equal to lambda p. So when you differentiate this, see from here you, you get minus five or divided by lambda to the power six, Okay, and uh, this exponential factor we will get here, this exponential factor we can leave like this. And when you differentiate this one, okay, uh, you will get here uh, two divided by lambda to the power uh, eight, because this is one by lambda five and from here you will get uh, minus two by lambda cube, sorry, two by lambda cube, okay. And these factors will also uh, come here, h square and divided by m square and vp square. Okay, and then uh, this exponential factor, okay, that is equal to zero. So this exponential cannot be zero. So we, from here we get uh, minus five and divided by lambda to the power six and plus two divided by lambda to the power eight and h square or, or divided by m square and vp square, that is equal to zero, okay. So therefore we get from here, lambda is equal to, if you uh, do a little bit calculation, okay. So we will get lambda uh, is equal to two h square, sorry, actually we will get here two divided by five under root and h divided by mvp. Okay, so that's the value of most probable wavelength. Okay, so this is actually uh, lambda p. Okay, everywhere, everywhere you can write lambda p because we have evaluated it as lambda equal to lambda p. So this is most probable wavelength, okay. Now, uh, we can put the value of VP. This VP is given to be uh, <clears throat> root under 2 KT or by M. That's what, that's what it is given. Okay. So when you put uh, root under 2 KT by M, 2 will cancel out. So you will get here, uh, lambda P is equal to H divided by root under 5 KT and M. Okay. So that's the answer. Okay. So that's the answer uh, of this question. See, this question is uh, uh, exactly similar to what is asked in uh, uh, kinetic theory of gases. There also we calculate most probable energy by expressing distribution function in terms of energy, okay? And uh, exactly the same thing is done in uh, black body radiation also. When you uh, express the energy uh, spectral density term uh, in terms of wavelength or in terms of frequency, suppose you have expression in terms of frequency, and when you convert this in uh, terms of wavelength, you do exactly in similar way. So this is a, uh, not a new concept. When you have expression in terms of U and you want to express it in terms of wavelength, you do something like this. Okay, okay so let's stop now.